What's up, Alex? It's Guys here, and you are not going to like this. Well, if you're a Texan, you're not going to like it. Maybe. You know it. I know it. Your dog knows it. Everybody is moving to Texas. They are flocking here in the masses every single day. If you're a Texan, you might not like all these people coming to your state, but they're coming here for a lot of the same reasons that you did. How can you blame them? And if you're part of the rest of the US that isn't the far superior state of Texas, I'm sure you're just dying to get here or you're already on your way. Heck, everyone I meet these days is a new Texas resident. I was in Home Depot the other day and some crunchy San Francisco guy was acting like he was in Disneyland and the rest of us were just having a normal Tuesday. Don't get me wrong, I like everyone moving here. We have something special in Texas. Matter of fact, we have a lot of special things in Texas. You may not like the influx, but I can guarantee one thing. You're not gonna stop it, and you're definitely not gonna go anywhere else. This is the greatest state, and I say that as a born and raised Texan, a local Austinite. Now, I know all the things that I love about Texas, but I was wondering, what does everyone else from out of state see? Why are they moving here? I started to really think about it. And hey, before I tell you why Texas is the best place to live, all I ask is for one thing. You hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. This would mean a whole, whole lot to me. Fair trade, I think. And as a bonus, and as a thank you, here's a cute picture of my dog, Gia. The first thing on the list is the booming economy. Did you know that Texas is actually ranked as the ninth largest economy in the world? That's right, the world. Governor Greg Abbott said that Texas's ranking as the world's ninth largest economy is because of the hardworking men and women of the Lone Star State, our commitment to economic freedom, our state-of-the-art infrastructure, and business climate. Texas is the number one producer of oil and natural gas, and we are the top exporting state coming in with a total of 20% of the entire United States exports. Our economy is strong in many different ways, from small business to agriculture, all the way to live events and tourism. Which brings me to our next Texas perk on today's list. The second reason why Texas is so great is the sports. And I'm not just talking about the pros. Did you know that my hometown, Round Rock, is the sports capital of Texas? And this is all about youth sports. This is great for you and your family, but it's also great for tourism, which boosts the economy without you getting any more neighbors. And here's the deal. Texas is known to breed star athletes that go on to do amazing things in all areas of pro sports. On top of youth sports, the state is filled with professional and semi-professional teams. You got the big boys like the Dallas Cowboys, Houston Astros, San Antonio Spurs, and in Central Texas, we got the Austin FC. And for semi-pro here in Austin, we have the Texas Stars hockey team, we got the Round Rock Express baseball team, and the Austin Spurs basketball team. All that to say, there is plenty to do for an entire weekend with the whole family, couple of friends, or that special someone. Number three is affordability, and I'm not just talking about housing. According to bestplaces.net, the cost of living in Texas is 7% less than the national average. And let's face it, we know that everyone is moving to Texas from California, so let's compare the two. For example, let's take Dallas and LA. If you were to buy a home in LA, it would cost you 220% more than it would cost you for a home in Dallas. That's just stupid. In Cali, Groceries are more, transportation is more, and overall, Los Angeles, California is 75% more expensive than the cost of living in Dallas. Sure, you could argue that people in California make more money. Well, try not to flex on you too hard about every single one of your companies in Silicon Valley wanting to move to the great city of Austin. But the fact is that you don't need to make nearly as much money to live in Texas as you would in California. And if you think about it, this is a great incentive for all these businesses to continue to move here as well. Next is one of the two things we can be sure of in this life, taxes. According to Smart Asset, the Texas Constitution forbids personal income taxes. Instead of collecting income taxes, Texas relies on high sales and use taxes. When paired with local taxes, total sales and taxes in some jurisdictions are as high as 8.25%. But you gotta be careful for property taxes in certain areas. This is somewhat of a trade-off for the affordable real estate. Also, there are tax incentives for businesses as well. Recently, some legislatures have reduced more than $1 billion in business taxes. This is a big reason why companies like Amazon, Apple, Tesla, and many, many more are moving right here to Texas. And more businesses mean more jobs, which means more opportunities for you. 
Number five is important for all of us, but especially for those of us with families, and that is safety. This is a friendly state. It's called Southern Charm for a reason. For the most part, we're good, hardworking people who are just trying to provide for our families. Sure, there's gonna be crime anywhere that you look, but Texas is a little bit safer than the rest. And similar to other states, some of the major crime areas are gonna be in the city, while the suburbs remain a safe haven for families. Glorious. <laughs> Actually, according to New Home Source, some of the safest cities in Texas include Frisco, Flower Mound, Round Rock, and Sugarland. Actually, before we head on to the rest of today's list, it would really help me out if you just tap the like button. It'll really give me the boost to continue forward with today's list. Number six is all the amazing opportunities that we have for education. I mean, just look at the caliber of the universities that we have here. U.S. News said that A&M and UT are among the largest universities in the country, with each enrolling over 40,000 undergrad students. Also, Texas has some of the best public schools and programs to help students reach their full potential. Number seven is what makes Texas and this whole country so amazing, the culture and the diversity. Texas is such a melting pot of different people that come from many different backgrounds. All of us are unique and special. I mean, if you ask me, Texas is pretty much an entire country of its own. We are one of the most unique states in America. We also have a vibrant arts and entertainment scene with a bunch of festivals and concerts like ACL. And we welcome people with open arms. Actually, Hotels.com ranked Houston, Texas as the most diverse city in America. This brings so many fun events, good food, and great people to each city in this state. Last but not least, my favorite part about Texas, the food. Because Texas is such a melting pot of culture, we have so many great choices of good cuisine. I did a recent video about the top five places to eat in Austin, Texas, but for the whole state, I don't think I can name them all. I mean, you got great barbecue, Frito pies, Dr. Pepper, and Shiner beer. But you've also got great choices of tacos, Tex-Mex, dim sum, Chinese, Vietnamese. We have it all. And everything is bigger in Texas. So what do you think? Texas is pretty cool, huh? This list is not every single thing that Texas has to offer. Matter of fact, it barely scratches the surface. But these are definitely some of the best things that Texas has to offer. Some of the best places to live in Texas are Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and of course, Opportunity City, Austin, Texas. And I highly recommend the suburbs, but if you like the city life, then go for it. Are you thinking about moving to this great state? Why are you coming here? What are you most excited about? Drop that in the comments below too. I promise to respond to every single comment. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say. Until then, thanks again for watching today, guys. Y'all are the best. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.